Hi, I'm Dr. Mendes at Mendes Family Chiropractic. I'm going to talk today about doing a lymphatic drainage massage on yourself. If there's one thing that probably at least 75% of my patients have told me at some point, if not this week, is that they're having some trouble with their sinuses. And for some people, that's an allergy. It might be a seasonal allergy. It might be something that's around all the time, like their dog or their cat. Uh, it might be a food allergy. For other people, it might be something acute, like an infection, a sinus infection, which could be coming from a virus. It could be coming from a bacteria. There's so many different things that could be making sinus trouble. Um, in addition to that, there's a lot of things that happen in the, in the head and neck area that are related to sinuses that you might not think of as being tied to the same sorts of immune processes. So anything with the eyes or ears, like if you've got fluid in your ears, or if you're coming down with a case of pink eye, or if you've got a sore throat, any of that could be helped by doing this lymphatic drainage massage. I'm going to have to use both hands, so I'm going to put my clipboard down for a second, I'm going to peek at my notes. All right. Oh. Let's talk for a second about what, what the lymphatic system is. Some of you may already know that. Others may have never heard of it before. But the lymphatic system is part of your circulatory system, except instead of blood flowing through it, your lymph flows through it. Lymph is basically like the water that your blood cells are floating in. So if you, if you take blood cells out of the liquid, that liquid that is remaining is called serum if it's in a test tube, but to be tricky, if it's in your lymphatic system moving around, then it's called lymph. Technical enough for you? Okay, so your lymphatic system helps drain gunk out away from areas of the body. Every cell in your body is being bathed all the time by this clear liquid lymphatic flow. Up here in the head, down in the toes, it all comes back into the central trunk area, gets worked into the bloodstream, then the kidneys and the liver can filter out any of the gunk that needs to be filtered out, it goes back into the bloodstream and all goes again and again in a constant, never-ending, miraculous process. Helping some of that clear out and flow better is what this is designed to do. So imagine lots of tiny little vessels, like little tubes coming from the top of your head, down through your face, down through your neck, and coming down into your trunk here. If they're not flowing quite right, you can make them flow better. So let's start right here. You get in behind your collarbones, right? And you just tap. I like to tell people, imagine that this is like a sink with a clog in it, and you're, and you're plunging it with a plunger. So, but please, not that forcefully, okay? You just tap, 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 tap. That's probably about long enough. And then you start massaging your head and neck. Now this is not a massage for like a deep tissue muscle massage. This is a very light, very low pressure gliding massage. I am probably going about twice as fast as we should here, but that's because I'm never able to slow down enough to do a good lymphatic drainage. Imagine if you were going to wipe raindrops off of a glass very slowly in slow motion. That would be a good speed and level of pressure for lymphatic flow. You get your forehead, you go to your cheekbones. It's a good thing I'm going fast because you get really bored by halfway through watching me do this. But you go across your cheeks, do about twice as many times as I just did. Come down the long line in front of the ear from the from where your head starts to curve down to the flat part there, all the way down past your TMJ, past your ear, down to here. Do behind the ear with your fingertips. There's a little bit of lymphatic flow behind this bump of bone here. Come down that way. Of course, do both sides, right? Then with the flat of your hand, get your neck. Again, slowly, gentle pressure, opposite side. Slowly, gentle pressure. Again, you should do that for about twice as long, maybe even three times as long as what I did. Then you end with the same thing you started with. You tap, 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 tap. So if anything that's flowing along in there is not flowing well, you're kind of giving it a little extra shove and forcing it to get down into your trunk rib cage area where it will get back into proper circulation with the rest of the body. Most people, when they do that, start to feel a little drainage or a little clearing. If you feel that when you get the first sign of a problem, let's say there's a little tickle in the back of your throat and you think, Mm, Uh-oh, tomorrow this might be a sore throat. Start doing it right then. Or if you're having sinus strange, or if one of your eyes starts to get a little pink, or if you feel like there's a little faint ache in your ear that you're hoping doesn't become more. Or 
probably more importantly, if one of your kids has any of those symptoms, because God knows a kid can go from feeling fine to having an upper respiratory tract infection in about one day, and that might be the most useful thing for them. Any questions, call us here at Mendy's Family Chiropractic. I'm Dr. Mendy's.